Time now for a fantasy football must starts and must sits for week five. Here's how accurate we've been in our predictions for each position throughout the whole 2021 season. We'll break it down even further throughout the video, so at any time, feel free to pause and read the ratings. With quarterbacks, the must starts. Kirk Cousins, Tom Brady, Sam Donald, Ryan Tannehill, and Dak Prescott. And our sleeper of the week, Daniel Jones. Jones takes our sleeper of the week spot for a second time this year. He scored 21 or more fantasy points in all but one game this season. The turnovers have decreased drastically for Jones, and even if the likes of Trayvon Diggs were to cause some trouble, Jones has a safe floor as a rusher, increasing his chances of a great fantasy output. The must sits. Baker Mayfield, Carson Wentz, Ben Roethlisberger, Jameis Winston, and Trevor Lawrence. And our bust of the week, Mac Jones. Hear me out on this. Jones had the best performance of his career last Sunday, yet he only mustered up 17 fantasy points on 40 attempts. The week prior to that, it was 11 points on 51 attempts. The game is expected to be out of hand early, meaning that the run game will be more of a factor, limiting the upside of Mac Jones. He's not a sit because we believe he'll be bad, but rather his fantasy points per pass attempt is not great this year, and we don't expect him to pass much. Running backs, the must starts. Devin Singletary, Damian Williams, Chuba Hubbard, Chase Edmonds, and Damian Harris and our sleeper of the week, Leonard Fournette. Fournette had his first 20 rush game last week, and we expect somewhat of the same volume this Sunday. The game script will allow Fournette to run the ball late in the game with the Bucks expected to be up by a big margin. The Dolphins on top of that have given up five touchdowns in the last three games to running backs. The must sits. Miles Sanders, Latavius Murray, Trey Sermon, Melvin Gordon, and Miles Gaskin. And our bust of the week, Samaje Pirine. If you're the Joe Mixon owner that's in desperation mode, Pirine isn't a bad play. But we do have to factor in game script. This is expected to be a pass-heavy game, and that usually means that Mixon will carry the duties of the pass catching back. However, Chris Evans is expected to take on that role, meaning that Pirine is simply limited and carries and can only hope that he gets a goal line touchdown to save his fantasy day. Wide receivers, the must starts. Emmanuel Sanders, Hunter Renfro, Corey Davis, Julio Jones, and Debo Samuel. And our sleeper of the week, LaVisca Chenault. Once Chark got hurt, Chenault immediately stepped in as the number one wideout. The role is still up in the air with Marvin Jones having a decent season, but Chenault's case as a breakout candidate is stronger than ever, especially this week against the Titans. Though Trevor Lawrence may not have the best day, the Titans are the worst defense in fantasy football against opposing receivers allowing eight touchdowns to the position this year. The must sits. Josh Gordon, Michael Pittman, Christian Kirk, Cortland Sutton, and Juju Smith-Schuster. And our bust of the week, Odell Beckham Jr. I'm aware that Beckham was so close to scoring a 62-yard touchdown last week, but that still wouldn't affect my thoughts on Beckham this week against the Chargers. Los Angeles is top three against wide receivers in fantasy football, allowing just two touchdowns to the position this year. The secondary led by Asante Samuel is not getting the love it deserves, and neither is the defensive line. Could be a tough day for the Browns offense. Tight ends, the must starts. Dalton Schultz, Dawson Knox, Mark Andrews, Kyle Pitts, and Mike Gesicki. And our sleeper of the week, Tyler Conklin. And what could be an effective passing day for Minnesota? Look into starting Tyler Conklin. The Lions have given up many big plays to the tight end position this year, Conklin also has been targeted 14 times in the last two games. The must sits. Austin Hooper, Jared Cook, Robert Tunyon, Evan Ingram, and Dan Arnold. And our bust of the week, Max Williams. The unpredictability is the main reason I have Williams as a sit this week. He's had two games with over 65 yards, but the other two were less than 20. We're still trying to get a feel for him, but with the 49ers being a top 10 defense against tight ends, let's sit Williams this week. Kickers, the must starts. Greg Joseph, Daniel Carlson, Matt Prater, Young Wei Koo, and Greg Zerline. And our sleeper of the week, Nick Folk. Folk is a top eight fancy kicker, yet is only rostered in 12% of leagues by the time this video was made. He's seen at least two field goal attempts and one extra point in every game this year, and the Patriots should have no issue moving the ball down the field this week against the Texans. The must sits. Jake Elliott, Chris Boswell, Mason Crosby, Brandon McManus, and Dustin Hopkins. 
and our bust of the week, Jason Sanders. A talented kicker that is the product of a poor offense. Sanders is averaging just 5 fantasy points a game. Don't expect the Dolphins to get into field goal range often against the Buccaneers. Defense and special teams, the must starts. The Buccaneers, Steelers, Ravens, Broncos, and the Patriots. And our sleeper of the week, the Las Vegas Raiders. We all know about the struggles the Bears offense has been having, and that's why I encourage you to stream the Raiders this week if they're your only option. The Bears offensive line has given up on average four sacks a game, which is not good when you're going up against Max Crosby and Yannick Nagakwe. The must sits. The Browns, Colts, 49ers, Bills, and the Dolphins. And our bust of the week, the Atlanta Falcons. I know what you're thinking. Play any defense that faces the Jets. And while that sounds smart, the Jets exposed that kind of thinking last week against the Titans. Streaming a defense against the Jets isn't a bad idea, but at least make sure it's somewhat of a decent defense. In regards to the Atlanta Falcons, they are not. Look somewhere else. As always, be sure to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below asking your fantasy football questions. Be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date when we come out with more fantasy football videos every single week. And if you wanted to get some second opinions on your fantasy football lineup, feel free to leave a comment or join our Discord server. It's a community where we can chat about fantasy football and the NFL in general. I try to respond to as many questions as I can, but the beauty of this community is if I don't get you guys in time, others will help you out. And be sure to follow us on social media, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and best of luck in week five.